So here we are at the um, Species Mogor Breeding Center, which I mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, this center is so important. Uh, here we keep eight um, individuals of the uh, 70 species macaws that remain, um, which are in the international breeding program for the species. The species, as I mentioned before, having gone extinct in the year 2000, and it can only be recovered through uh, captive breeding and uh, reintroduction into its natural habitat in Brazil. Um, of these eight individuals that we have here, we have a breeding pair. This pair has laid an egg. We're very, very excited about it, um, and we believe that it's going to come uh, to something good. So, uh, without further ado, let's go and see what's inside the center. So here we are inside this unique center for the Swixes macaw, and as you can see, we have um, uh, spacious aviaries, but we also have a lot of security. We have uh, uh, several layers of security that um, uh, people would need to pass through to come into this center. Um, this is because these uh, birds are so valuable uh, e ecologically because of the species being extinct in the wild. The only way to recover it is through breeding these individuals that we have and a few other centers of the world have. Um, as you can see, we have a, a, a netting to keep off the strong sun during the summer. We have uh, plants uh, planted throughout between the aviaries, uh, which provides a kind of a nice microclimate for the birds. Um, the aviaries we can join together, uh, we can, I think we can join together a maximum of, of eight aviaries and this gives them, uh, the birds, a lot more space if they need it. Um, we also have more flexibility to uh, mix the pairs as we want to. And speaking of the pairs, let's go and see one of those pairs right now. And here we've arrived at a, an aviary which contains a young pair. Uh, they're called Ferdinand and Arabella. Um, if you want the numbers, uh, stud books uh, number 82 and 94, they also each have a leg band with, a, with a, an individual number on it and a microchip with an individual number on it, but I can't remember what those are. Um, but this is a, a typical aviary that we would have for a breeding pair. This pair is a little bit too young uh, to breed, but we would expect that in the next season they, they might produce something for us. Um, as you can see, they, they actually have nest boxes, so, they, so if they wanted to start, they could. Um, they've been going in and out and showing quite a lot of the, the right kinds of behaviors so far, um, but uh, next year, I think, will be the year. Um, they, they have um, branches in here. The keepers put in uh, branches for what we would call environmental enrichment and other things, uh, um, particularly different kinds of foods uh, for them to, to, uh, to play with. Um, and this is actually the feeding uh, station here. Um, we have the food uh, bowls and the water bowls um, inserted into this um, into the shelf, if you like, which means that the keeper um, doesn't have to go in, doesn't have to disturb the pair, um, simply just to change the water and the, and the food. Um, so, uh, as you can see, they're just as interested in uh, people as people are in, interested in them. Um, but we have to wait a little while for this pair, but let's go to another pair where something really is happening. Well, we're, we're going slowly and softly here um, so that we can see this wonderful breeding pair. Yeah, here they are. Um, obviously, the female has come off the uh, nest for a little while, but this pair um, has uh, just produced uh, an egg. Um, and on our first inspection, um, the, the, the egg has a bit of a strange shape, um, but uh, apparently... Um, after candling it, after actually shining a light and looking uh, at what's happening inside, um, it seems to be okay. So we have uh, we have uh, great, great hopes for this because um, this pair hasn't produced uh, for the last three years. Um, 
uh, the, the, in the three years before that, it actually produced four young, but had a break for uh, three years. And so uh, now with this uh, revival of their breeding uh, interest, um, we're hoping uh, again for young species and macaws to, to appear. Um, they seem to be very relaxed, which I'm uh, pleased about. Um, I guess you'll go back into the box um, uh, quite soon. Um, we have uh, a choice of, or the, the pair, I should say, have a choice of boxes in here, like in the other Averys, um, and they have chosen uh, uh, one box to, to lay the eggs and rear the young. Um, the, the, each of the boxes has a good protection, um, so uh, we're not worried about, um, about any external e effect um, negatively uh, influencing the process, if you like. Um, so here, here they are, and um, all I sh should do is to tell them to uh, do their stuff and do it properly, and let's see what happens. <laughs>